Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I just posted recently a video called Thank You Again, just basically saying thank you guys for all the support you give my channel. And as you listen to, you know, your playback, you say, man, I forgot to mention this. This is important. So I decided to just do another video, you know, an entirely uh, different video or another video uh, acknowledging this, you know, because, again, I thank you guys for your support. I also want to thank everybody that has purchased the guitars. You know, I truly appreciate it because what I try to do is this, you know, my world revolves around common sense and logic. Now, everything that doesn't make sense don't mean that it's, it's not true, you know, but uh, it's just real simple to me. I want a guitar that feels good to play. Real simple, just feels good to play. Still a little action I'll fucking have like this, you know, because uh, people want to make this, uh, I guess, excuse. Well, it's a cheap guitar, so, you know, you expect that. No, a $79 guitar should have decent action. It doesn't take that much effort. It's just that there's some people that just want to throw together some shit. You know, and it's like, I'm not going for that. It's just, that's just that simple because uh, I recently was on, on Reverb. And I seen a Powder Blue guitar, and I asked them about it, and it's like, well, the action ain't that good. And it's a brand new guitar. I'm like, so why isn't the action that good? Because it's different when it comes to guitars as far as you're going to pay a grand for it, 2000 because of they, they use exotic wood, or they treated the wood to make sure that the craftsmanship is beautiful, and it feels good, and it looks good, and it sounds good. And that's why it costs that much. I can understand that. But it doesn't cost no more money to keep them damn strings close to the fretboard. It's just lazy, cheap, cutting corners, you know. And uh, I've always, um, I go out in search of guitars that I say to myself, I wouldn't sell you this guitar if I can't play it, you know. If I'm not comfortable, if I don't enjoy it, you know. So I try to pass on good playing guitars to you guys as opposed to you going to these sites or whatever and, and, and they trying to sell you junk. You know, so uh, I try to, you know, again, make it easy for everybody because I'm like, uh, I don't want a jacked up guitar where I can't play and it hurt my hands to play. So why should I pass this on to you or why should I try to endorse this? And that's why Dave was so near and dear to me because Dave got it. It's like he got it, you know, and Dave is dearly missed. I mean, I miss Dave as a friend. I definitely miss him as a guitar maker, you know, but um, I just don't understand what. Well, I guess the logic is we don't give a shit. We're just trying to push product. You should give a shit because 30 years ago, the majority of people that produced anything, they gave a shit. And it's like now it's like I'm just throwing together some because uh, I'm going to say this. And uh, I'm just going to be honest. The guitar maker, Maestro, garbage. You know, they sent me a brand new guitar and the action was like this. I'm like, come on, man. Come on. They made it like that. It ain't that over some years, the neck bow and it went, went south. They made it like that. I'm like, who the fuck want to play this guitar? Have you played this guitar? You know, have you endorsed this guitar as far as it's comfortable to play? Apparently not. There's some people that don't play guitar, but they make guitars. I'm like, well, you need to go get somebody to play them to get their approval, ideas, suggestions on what's the best product I can make for you, for the, these customers. You know, because... Uh, Dave got it. Jay Tursa gets it. You know, uh, a guitar maker by the name of Gladiator gets it. Uh, you know, of course, the big big guys, the big guns get it. Gibson, Fender, you know, they make great guitars. But they're just some guitar makers don't get it. It's like uh, we're just going to get them junk and they're going to accept it. No, I don't think so. You know, so that's why, you know, uh, I make it a point that when I sell these guitars that they're in the best condition they can be. They, they look good. They sound good. They play good, you know. Because again, the the most important thing is they feel good to play, because you know, growing up in the area that I did, you know, our very first guitar. And I just listened, watching. Uh, I think it was Andy Summers of the uh, the Police, and he said the same thing that I said. He said the first guitar here was garbage, and it's like yeah, usually back in that era, the first guitar that you know you would have is garbage but it's like now we live in a new day and era where thank god your new your first guitar don't have to be garbage you don't have to be that f bar chord is killing my hand i don't think i'm gonna play guitar i'm gonna stick this back up under the bed and go play basketball you know so uh again i want to thank you guys for purchasing purchase of the guitars i make it a point you know to, to to sell guitars that feel good as far as the action if if it doesn't pass that test with me i don't buy it i definitely won't sell it 
So again, I thank you guys for the support and uh, more guitar sales are coming very soon. Matter of fact, I might post one tonight because uh, I got one or two guitars that uh, you know, that I'll you know pass on to you guys. So take care. Thanks for watching.